Lake Nyos looks as stunning as ever. It's hard to imagine that this breathtaking landscape could cause so many deaths. Yet it did, 30 years ago. The crater lake is in the volcanic highlands of northwestern Cameroon, where toxic gas builds up deep underground. Carbon dioxide, which had been trapped for centuries, erupted from the lake in 1986, sending a poisonous cloud down valleys and into villages. At least 1,700 people and twice as many animals suffocated. Prudentia Kang survived. Four of her children died. It was at night. I was asleep with my children. I heard an explosion but didn't make much of it. When I woke up the next morning, I discovered some of my children were dead. Those who were still alive would cough at some powdery substance. I was also affected. Scientists are trying to prevent a repeat of the disaster. Three tubes have been drilled deep underwater to pump out the gas and ease pressure in the lake. Some still feel that the lake is not safe. But people who have been coming here and who have participated in most of our programs are sure that it is safe. To, when uh, the first gasoline pipe was put inside in 2001, the fountain was 50 meters high because of the pressure of uh, carbon dioxide below. But now when you see it that low, it means that all the carbon dioxide is off. 4,500 survivors were moved away from lakeside villages 30 years ago. Now their families have grown to about 20,000 people. Before the tragedy, this was a thriving village with many homes and a large market. More than a thousand people lived here and almost all of them died and are buried in mass graves. Do you really want to come back to Subum? The government says it's safe enough to resettle the survivors. Here they answer questionnaires on whether or not they want to return. The answer is a unanimous yes. Many are already back, but not all are happy. Many people have been coming here promising us that they will come and do this, they will come and go, they will come and go. Then they will tell us we are coming to build, to construct houses. In a month's time you will see us, we will come, they will come and go. They will collect information from us and then disappear. It's still early days for the villagers here. They haven't officially been told when they can go home or if the government will build decent homes, schools and health centers. But at least now they can dare to hope. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Northwest Cameroon.